Hey guys, Hoss here. I'm doing this video as a response to Dangerous Dan 762. Um, <clears throat> I think that, uh, you know, I agree probably more with Dangerous Dan than he uh, realizes about things in general. And so I just wanted to make this as kind of an update or a clarification to Dangerous Dan since uh, he's back and has missed a lot of stuff. Um, I'm glad he's back because it's in him and Shall it be in French back, and, and we're kind of hopefully going to be reviving the um, sewing circle at least somewhat. <clears throat> Maybe we can get Lazy Gorillas to finally start posting some some more videos about this, lending his voice into it. Um, so let me, let me just say, you know, Dan, uh, you know, I, I probably agree with you more than, than you know. Um, I did some videos a while back about... Uh, we were discussing how, you know, like you say, a lot of people say, oh, we need to get back to the Constitution, we need to get back to this and that, and you were saying, you know, people were yelling that as the before the ink was dry. And that's true. I mean, you know, George Mason helped write part of the Constitution, and he voted against it. I mean, there's uh, there was uh, literally <clears throat> opposition to it before the ink was dry. I made a video just a little while ago called uh, You're Talking Paint, I'm talking engines, and I was talking to um, Hosh Nasi or HBR Media is his channel about our system, and I think it, I think it was Lysander Spooner that said something to the effect of our constitution either is responsible for what we have today, or gate or or allowed the tools necessary to create it, and so I would agree with you that I think that there's a problem with the base level of governance you know there was a huge there's a huge problem with the constitution because it allowed the system that we have today to exist obviously because if it was was able to prevent it then it would have i would say that uh, the, the reason that i don't say i'm an anarchist and even though there's i can't remember the fellow's name but he's always asking me if i'm an anarchist yet is because i truly believe that there is a way to have a government that is voluntary <laughs> I just <clears throat> I don't know if it's possible to have it. it I mean it may be idealistic um, in the sense like you know Marxism is idealistic it's not a real thing that can be really attained not only I think that kind of anarchism is as well and or or even a government that say voluntary, where where we have voluntary participation in it, um, is is also unattainable to some sense. So I'd say, it, you know, long story short, I would tend to agree with you more than more than you know. Um, I I would say that my views are changing, and they still are. They're still in transition as I learn and and grow and kind of see how humans work. Uh, because really, that's what this is. What any government is 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 figuring out, you know, how humans work and how we can try to live together without killing each other. Um, the The purpose of the video that I made, what is the rule of law, was to, in one way, point out the ridiculousness of that term, and also to point out the fact that the rule of law I is under the Constitution, under the rule of law, in my opinion, we already live without it. And that, that, that's, it's maybe ironic in that sense, that we already live with it, and people use that term as trying to say that there's going to be, you know, wanton lawlessness and strife. So, anyway, hopefully, maybe Landshark22 will lend his voice to this one finally. Thanks for watching, guys.